So I, I put together a bunch of slides not knowing who the audience might be uh, to provide some background on Vista. So just out of curiosity, how many of you are familiar with Vista? So, so, okay. So, so just bear with me. I'm going to give some background on uh, World Vista and Vista itself, why Vista is a good uh, open source solution for acute care settings and so forth, and then talk a little bit about strategy for the UK and, and where we are uh, today. So uh, just very quickly, World Vista is a, a, a US non I'm, I'm Canadian, by the way. I'm chairman of uh, uh, the board of World Vista, and World Vista is a U.S. nonprofit. It was formed uh, about 12, 12 years ago uh, to establish uh, an open source community to make Vista uh, more easily adapted outside of the United States Veterans uh, Administration, which is where Vista was born. The VA has uh, made Vista available as public domain open source software, uh, for over 25 years, uh, the, the challenge has been that uh, VA does not support uh, its actual implementation or anything lear learning about it. They donate all the software, they donate all the training and all the um, documentation and so forth. Uh, but they, because of its mandate, they have they have to focus on serving veterans and are not allowed to actually help people. So we created World Vista. Uh, to build that community to provide that kind of a framework and, and a service. Um, so th these are some of the highlights of, of uh, what uh, World Vista has accomplished. We ported uh, Vista to a full Linux stack. Um, that was our first achievement. I think that was about one or one, a year or so into the uh, process. Uh, Vista had only been available on uh, Intersystems Cache and uh, proprietary uh, operating systems, and we moved it over to Linux and uh, GTM, which really opened up the possibilities in terms of adoption. Uh, in 2005, uh, Rural Vista was uh, uh, part of a contract to adapt Vista for use outside of VA in what is called the US safety net, which are all the uh, not-for-profit clinics and community hospitals in the U.S. that serve about 50 million uh, patients in, in, uh, or citizens in the United States. And uh, that was the, f the first formal attempt to start building uh, the capability to support Vista on a large scale uh, outside VA for public health systems. And, and that, that project actually spawned what is now World Vista EHR. Uh, at the end of 2007, the software was released, and then we ran it through the uh, EHR certification process that's, uh, uh, that was at, at the time CCHIT in the US, and then subsequently in 2011, again, through the Meaningful Use Certification. So Vista has gone through very rigorous uh, EHR certification process uh, as part of uh, making it available to the U.S. market. Uh, and, and that's important because open source often gets, you know, people start wondering, well, how can you do the things that you need to do to maintain a high quality system and so forth? And we've been able to prove that. And there are other examples, O3, O3 for example, which is just around the corner, uh, has CE certification, and there are others. So there. Uh, just because it's open source doesn't mean you can't do what every, everyone else does in terms of quality assurance and, and so forth. Um, the other, another major benchmark was in 2007, uh, the Jordanian National Health System, which is about 40, the public hospitals, military and MOH, are, there are about 46 hospitals in that network and about 200 uh, plus uh, comprehensive clinics and they decided to adopt uh, Vista and World Vista EHR uh, was the platform that they decided to go with. And I'll talk a bit more about that because I think Jordan, the experience in Jordan is probably the best model for any international adoption in terms of process. Uh, 
one more one more data point uh, around 2004 Mexico the uh, social security hospitals in Mexico there are about 112 of those they serve 50 odd million um, uh, citizens in in Mexico they also adopted Vista and the interesting thing about Mexico is they pretty well did it on their own they they had a few consultants and so forth and I just found out uh, I was at a meeting in Washington just a couple few weeks ago and that system is still running there even though they've had very very minimal interaction with 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 the community so why open source? I think if you're in this booth, you're probably already an open source advocate. I know that 99% of you are at least. So I won't, I won't talk much about that, but uh, the, the key thing is that we need a paradigm shift in health IT. The usual models, the usual business models, and the usual technology models just have not been working. If you look at the evidence, there are countless failures. You've had some here. We've had some in Canada, the U.S. has had their own share, and we really need a shift in, in how we approach things. And, and open source really is that, I, I, I've, after 15 years doing this, I'm absolutely convinced that it's the right model. It is a natural fit for the healthcare system, the healthcare culture. So why, why Vista? Well, Vista, serves a very large uh, population, a very complex population of, uh, of patients in the VA system. There are about seven, uh, well, 8.9 8 million uh, veterans. And as you can imagine, veterans have a, a very uh, complex uh, medical history. In fact, to get into the VA, you have to have been injured in the war uh, to some extent, and you often have many uh, problems associated with you, with you. So, VA is a large, fully integrated health system. It treats you. Once you're in the VA system, you're in there for 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 life. So, in fact, the medical record retention period in VA is 70 years. In Canada, it's seven years. So, just to give you an idea of the complexity and the, and the scope and scale of what they're doing, uh, it it it's a very interesting ecosystem for. Uh, evolving and developing uh, uh, an electronic health record system. So I think that to me is one of the most valuable aspects about Vista is that it, 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 is, it grew out of this kind of a, an ecosystem. And the other, the other important part about the VA ecosystem is it's always been about uh, delivery of high quality care to to the veterans. It's never had any other mission. It's, it's really a lot like NHS, it's a lot like the, uh, the public health system in Canada and so forth. It's always been patient focused. It, um, and as a consequence, it's had a lot of experience in, in dealing with uh, improving care and so forth. In fact, the VA used to be one of the worst places to get care in the US and it is now considered one of the best. So it's gone that, through that whole transformation as well. And that Again, that is another very valuable aspect of the ecosystem in terms of how software uh, has co-evolved and helped evolve uh, a, better, um, uh, a better care system. Uh, the other interesting uh, data point is the VA uh, trains about 70% of the medical students uh, in the United States in the sense that they rotate through VA to do their uh, internships. So there's a lot of ex uh, interaction with the uh, uh, education, medical education system and so forth. A lot of research that gets done in VA and, and so on. Um, it's just a, a bit of an eye chart slide, but uh, it, it just gives you an idea of the performance of the VA system compared to uh, uh, Medicaid, Medicare, and, and commercial uh, across a number of uh, uh, metrics. Uh, VA gets measured on a number of uh, um, performance metrics in terms of quality of care and so forth. And it tends to outperform the rest of the health, at least 95 to 8 uh, percent of the rest of the healthcare system in terms of um, uh, metrics like so smoking cessation and cancer screening and, and so forth. So. It's also able to do this at a much lower cost than the rest of the healthcare system. 
there, um, this re red line represents the cost per patient in the VA uh, compared uh, to the average Medicare payment and uh, medical consumer price index. So not only does VA have a very complex set of uh, patients to deal with, uh, and age a very tend they tend to be older with many comorbidities and so forth, uh, but they've always also managed to keep their costs lower than the rest of the healthcare system, and that's even in the face of uh, very small budget growth in, in their in their care. Now, one of the ways they've done this is by actually shifting care to the home. Uh, it started the process started by shifting care. Uh, out of acute care to outpatient um, care. And the VA is a pioneer in telemedicine and home-based care. And that's how they've met, one of the ways they've, they've been able to do this. And also involving the, the, uh, the veteran in their own care. So they've been a pioneer of uh, patient portals and personally controlled uh, health records. I've been doing this for over seven or eight years now. Um, and, uh, and using technology combined with uh, reinventing processes and so forth uh, to, to improve care. Uh, the result, uh, this was an interesting study that was done uh, in, in 2010 looking at the return on investment. There's been several billion dollars invested in VISTA over the uh, 20, 25 years. Um, and they've, the, this was, the study basically found that they'd at least it had, be, had a three billion dollar return on investment, far more than uh, what they've actually put into it. So just very quickly, this is a very simple overview of what the of Vista architecture you have um, at its at the core. Uh, as I mentioned, it runs on Linux. Uh, it'll also run on Windows and um, in other forms of Unix. Uh, the MUMP system provides the, the database layer and, and some of the programming language. And then you have a middle layer that does the data dictionary functions and, and application services and so forth. And then you have a whole suite of departmental systems. So lab, pharmacy, radiology, uh, et cetera. And uh, on top of that layer, you have the, the CPRS, which is basically the graphical interface which provides a unified view of the patient record uh, in your hospital and across multiple hospitals in the system. So if you're in a VA, if your home VA is in, say, San Diego, and you're visiting in New York, uh, New York and you have to go into a VA hospital in New York, they can pull up your record in New York and, and, and see it from, uh, from New York. The interesting thing that's been happening of, uh, in the last couple of years uh, some of it's spearheaded by folks here in the UK, Rob Tweed, who uh, makes a product called EWDJS, uh, is the interfacing of uh, new tools and platforms for rapid development of an extension of Vista functionality through JavaScript and, and other uh, technologies. It doesn't require very much understanding or knowledge of the MUMPS layer and so forth. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with MUMPS, it's, it's at the foundation of quite a few, over 60% of um, uh, EPR solutions, including Epic, which is probably the most successful one uh, in the US. And <clears throat> it, it scales extremely well, as these numbers show the number of uh, orders and images and so forth and documents uh, are now in the billions. Uh, in the system, and as I mentioned, all of that data is accessible because they have to maintain records for 70 years. So you've got a very high performance, very scalable system that's very inexpensive to, to uh, implement when you compare it to uh, other solutions. Um, here are a couple of, some of the examples of um, uh, implementation, num the number of implementations. I'm just there's the VA itself, which has over 150 hospitals and so forth. Uh, the U.S. Indian Health Service, which serves the uh, Aboriginal population, uh, and has, uh, they're also like a re low resource, low budget kind of environment. Uh, 
and they have over 600 sites running uh, their version of, of Vista. I'm just highlighting two, um, two sites in the US which I think are very good benchmarks on what's possible uh, in terms of implementation. Uh, North Carolina, the state uh, mental, uh, mental, care, mental health hospital in North Carolina, they had decided about five years ago to go with Vista and had actually gone to tender and then canceled the tender because there were uh, massive budget cuts across the U.S. when the economy failed and so forth. Uh, about two years ago, three years ago, two and a half years ago, they decided to go on their own. Uh, and try and implement Vista uh, with a very minimal cost model. And so they've actually completed self-implementation. They went live about uh, eight months ago for under a million dollars. Uh, it has now become such a benchmark in the, in the state that the whole state has decided that they are going to deploy Vista and use that as, a, as an example. Um, Mental health doesn't have quite the complexity of an acute care hospital, so that's one of the things that made the cost so low. What they did was they hired a few VISTA experts uh, and worked internally to actually go through the process with World VISTA and with the rest of the community helping them. Uh, Oroville Hospital is a, a probably a more representative example of what you'd find in, a, in an acute care. It's an acute care hospital, about 400 beds. Uh, they also went through a self-implementation model. They hired experts, brought them in, uh, and they, they were able to implement for $6 million, including imaging and so forth, and it covers the whole, whole Vista suite. And that, by the way, is, is a fraction of what you would pay for Cerner or, or Epic, as I'm sure you, you would know. Um, outside the United States, the uh, World Vista EHR basically dominates the implementation, um, the in installed base. As I mentioned, Jordan is now uh, live in, in, nine, uh, in nine sites. Uh, there are, they are, they develop, they establish their own organization, a nonprofit to uh, implement and support Vista, um, and became self-sufficient after about 18 months of external, external help and assistance in the first pilot programs. Uh, as I mentioned, Mexico is, has 50 plus hospitals running. Uh, there are uh, several hospitals in India uh, running with Rovis EHR. Uh, there's a hospital in, in Pakistan, and then uh, a few others that are based on what are called, what's called FOIA VISTA, or the Freedom of Information Act version of VISTA, which is the raw version of VISTA that you get from VA from their FTP site. Uh, these are all fairly old uh, implementations. So, uh, just again as a case study, Jordan, like many other, like every, pretty well everybody else, has the same concerns about, about had the same concerns about uh, safety and outcomes and, and significant waste in the system, duplication of drug tests and so forth. Uh, I was involved in doing, in guiding the program and developing the strategy for Jordan. What we found was uh, we thought there would be at least 30% savings in, in um, x-rays and drugs and in lab tests. And sub Jordan has subsequently done a post-implementation analysis and their actual benefits have come out to being pretty close to those numbers, which kind of surprised me because we were just using anecdotal evidence after surveying 31 sites across the country and talking to pretty well everybody we could in those sites. So that was, that was very gratifying. Um, this is when Jordan started looking for solutions elsewhere like North America, <laughs> this is what they saw and they didn't want to re recreate this. Uh, what they wanted was a platform that looked something more modern and, and like that, but they also wanted to add their own little twists to it and, and ad adapt the software to their local requirements, which is what any other country would want to do with Vista. So that they had, you know, questions were, you know, can we adapt it? Will it be accepted by our clinical staff? They had no, in our first pilot site, they had no computers, only the, the actually there was one 
in, uh, in the um, uh, CEO's, the head of the hospital's desk, and there were, sorry, there were a couple in the lab that were running the lab systems, but that was it. Um, can we build the capacity to support it and reduce costs and so forth? Will it make a difference and, and so on? So they, they had, I mean, basically the same questions anyone else would have. And the strategy was really a fairly simple one. We needed to adapt the software to the Jordanian health system. That meant uh, synchronizing the, the drug database with the national formulary, uh, synchronizing the system with the national patient identifier. We actually linked the system to um, the uh, national uh, person registration system, which maintains the identity cards for, uh, and the unique identifier for everyone in the country. Um, and then develop a sustainability model so that they didn't have to rely on people flying in from uh, North America and other places uh, to uh, c continue supporting the software and then evolve it. The key thing about open source and about this whole process is that it is a process. It's not about the software. You start with a platform but you evolve from that point. And what's most important is getting the process going, nurturing the process and getting it right and making it a clinically driven process, not a technology driven or a financially driven process. So this, these are just some examples of what they did in CPRS. They, they developed their own graphical registration, built, built on to Vista so they could support Arabic demographics. Uh, and I think I'm I'm just going to skip through these because I have very little time left. But uh, as I mentioned, there were several sites. The uh, Prince Hamza Hospital was a 500-bed acute care hospital. That was the, the primary site. And the comprehensive clinic um, was, a, was affiliated with Hamza, but uh, uh, physically remote. And the National Cancer Center. So part of the strategy was follow the standards, follow, work with the open source community, don't fork the code. There were lots of examples. This has been around long enough that it's been forked in, a, in lots of different places. Uh, e Egypt is an example. And once you do that, you're, you're, you lose 90% uh, of the benefits, in my opinion, and sustainability becomes very questionable. So as I mentioned, we needed to do some adaptation, similar things that you need to do here. Uh, registration, in other words, here we'd, we'd want to link with a PaaS system. We don't want to re reinvent PaaS. Uh, scheduling was something we needed to uh, adapt there. The, the drug database, again, here, we, it's something you'd have to do here as well and collaborate with the community. And that was the go live with the first, this gentleman here is the first patient in in uh, the VISTA system in Jordan. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been able to uh, leverage other technologies. Uh, VISTA is smart enabled, so this is using the, uh, one of the smart apps uh, in conjunction with VISTA to extend its functionality. Uh, again, that's something, it's important to know that you have tools like this to adapt the software for uh, local use. So where, where is Vista today? I think we're still in the incubation phase here in, in the UK. Uh, there aren't any adoptions that I know of in underway. Uh, there's interest, uh, but what we really need is to inc incubate a bottom-up approach. I think that's the most sustainable way to get uh, something as complex and deep as Vista uh, firmly established in, uh, in an ecosystem like like the UK uh, health system. And it needs to be led by the trusts. It can't be led by vendors, it can't be led by technologists and so forth. And in order to do that, you really have to understand what its value is as an organization. And that takes time. It, the Jordanians took a couple of years before they settled on going with Vista. If it takes a few years to do that in the UK, that's, that's perfectly normal. Uh, it's a question of getting the message out and getting folks to understand it. NHS England's done a really good job of helping frame how the governance of this can work through CICs as an example and how to build community and so forth. I think that is a very, very important piece of the puzzle 
because any open source solution needs that as uh, groundwork for, uh, for success. So, thank you. Any